Yes, sir. Atlanta's done with about station. This album 7-9. Your dirty J Nicks flies got on the radio. It's definitely special. You know what I'm saying? I got some legends in the building. You know what I'm saying? We still doing 25 to life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, Pimp Squad sure. clicks in the building. PSC in the building. What's up, fellas? You dig, you dig, you dig. You got to get in that yeah. microphone, man. You know who this is, man. This your boy, Big Country Kane. Shout out to Young Dro, man. He was sick. So we're going to hold it down for Dro. <laughs> man, bend it, man. Boy, Dro, Dro, got, Dro like got the fluid, stomach fluid, something. Man, 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 in the hurt, building. Man. So, so, so y'all, didn't, y'all didn't link back up. Y'all, first of all, y'all been partners for a long time. What made y'all get back in the studio? You know what I'm saying? Last album was what, 2005? Yeah, what the, something like that. Yeah, so what Ooh. made y'all to be like, yeah, time flying. <laughs> well, especially when you're getting money. You know what I'm saying? So I got to salute like to y'all because y'all, y'all, y'all stay been getting money. You know what I'm saying? On, in different facets, different businesses. So I definitely salute y'all for that. But what made y'all get back in? Like, you know what, let's, let, let's, let's, let's do this. Tell him, Matt. Well, I mean, um, we had a, a couple of ideas uh, come from a couple of business associates. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clay Evans was one. Come on, Clay. Rest in peace, Clay. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I hit tip, and I just, you know what I'm saying, said, hey, man, I feel like, you know, we should do a tape. You know what I mean? Like, for the culture. Mm. Like, why not? Just because. Yeah, we fine. So, of course, <laughs> still got it. So what do you, Coach, what do you feel like as far as the new generation? We were just talking about just Atlanta period as a whole and how much has changed since mm-hmm. I've been here 18 years now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to, first of all, thank y'all for always accepting me as family. Like, I'm from Atlanta. Yeah, for sure. You know sure, what I'm saying? Sure, so I definitely sure. appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Me and Country that had oh, uh, fights, <laughs> about to be fights and everything else. <laughs> Body tough back in the day. This Man, is my brother from another, so we've been everything. through it. So what what do you think the culture, How what, what changed the culture? Like, of course, over time, but what, what you think? What would you tell some of the young cats out there, man? I mean, you know. They need to get that hate out their heart and try to get to the paper. Because, mm-hmm. you know, Atlanta's, uh, this is where you get your money at. Right. Especially as a black as a black individual, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all it was Wakanda. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as a black that individual. Wakanda cause, a long time ago, look, man. Look, let me tell told you something. what it was. When we started touring and going to these other c- cities and stuff and how they were treating us, we were like, boy, we're not from here. Right. You're not gonna talk to us like that. Right. We can't understand why black people are just taking it. Right. From the police, white people, whatever. Just look, keeping it real. Right. But you know, here it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? So just don't take it for granted. I think if you treat people how you want to be treated, everything will be all right. One mm-hmm. time for Matt. Come on. Come on. Ah, why <laughs> you telling the man and, business? And the amateur. Hour. Why you telling the man business? <laughs> so you said treat people how you want to be treated. Yeah, man. I think if you treat people how you want to be treated, uh, that that'll solve most of it, right? You know what I mean. Don't talk, and, don't 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 talk sideways to nobody because you don't want nobody talking sideways to you. You facts. know what I mean. Uh, don't 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 hold on to nobody money no longer than you need to because you don't want nobody holding on to yours. And, right, have, you know and I mean? have legitimate beef. Right. Don't be beefing off of social media because I right. said this and I said that. All y'all gonna say a lot of things because y'all in a comfort place with your phone tucked probably on the in the bathroom the bathroom stall mm-hmm. somewhere talking. You know right. what I'm saying. You know, just have legitimate beef, man. Let it be about something for real, mm. or don't have it at all. I okay. mean, I, th- I think, man. You know, I th- and another thing people have to understand is, you know, the beef lead to war. Mm-hmm. War costs money. It don't mm. make money, right? You know right. what I mean? And, and, and it scare off opportunities. So I think, you know, at the end of it, you know, what I mean, everybody got in this to to create a better way for themselves, for their family. Um, because if they wanted to just, you know what I'm saying, just ride, ride beef, slide, and, you know what I mean, and, and, and get active, then they wouldn't even be trying to do music. Right. Right. Okay. True. Okay. New single, Switch. Switch. Mm, let's talk about it. Oh, man. We got Young Dro firing off on Come on, the, going crazy. You know, how does I got the hot verse on them. <laughs> yeah, we left them off this right. one. You know what I, I mean? I got the hot verse on them. Who got left on Bad Bougie? Who got left on Switch? Gee whiz. Who you say got left on Bad Bougie? Lonely take. Lonely take. I got the hot verse on them, man. Lonely take, man. Listen all the way to the end until you hear mine. If you don't hear it, play it back. Tell about this single, bro. Keep playing it. Yeah, you talking about it. Tell about this single, bro. We got Young Dro going. Fire hot on switch, you know what I'm saying? I say I say my little piece that Matt Boney hold it down at the end. Put them on by trench work, Norton B, yeah, shout out. B. Come on, Norton B. Come on, man. Still doing it. Hey, man. It, it felt good hard. hearing y'all together again, man. Switch y'all ain't missed no beat. That was just that was just a little appetizer. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So this album, so this is a mixtape album. We, we what? We, we indie? We 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 straight grand hustle? We're going mixtape first. Okay. Gangsta Grill. Shout out DJ Drama. Okay. We're gonna, y'all, oh, y'all coming back with it. Yeah. Okay, gonna, take gonna, it back from the beginning. We're going to do it like that. I ain't mad. And, and then we're going to present album. Come on now. Come on now. So what can we look for as far as features on on this? Is this all just all PSC or what? Hey, man. Ain't no telling. 
Yeah, <laughs> ain't no telling. I had, to, I had to throw my hands up. Ain't no telling whatever it is you'll be smelling what we selling. You Come on, me? man. Stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> Let's talk about the Grammys, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if yeah. you don't want a Grammy before, like, how, how was it seeing Killer Mike finally get his just due? Man, I feel like. That was beautiful. You know what I mean? Shout beautiful. out to Killer. Win for the ADV. You, know you see on, what man. I'm saying? Come on now. Home team. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out, shout out to Killer Mike for real. So, so let me ask you a question. Just being, just, just us being black, you know what I'm saying? Black man. I, I feel like. Even a situation with him getting detained was a, yeah. could have been held off. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I yeah. I feel like just it was an atrocity. Mm, come on, tell me about it. I mean, man, to be honest with you, man, Killer Mike going and sweeping the Grammys, win, winning three Grammys, <clears throat> and then going to jail at the same, getting arrested and going to jail at the same event in the same venue, is the story of a black man in America. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? Tell like about you it. just can't. You can't really celebrate success. You can't really, you know, uh, reap the benefits, uh, uh, enjoy the fruits of your label, because it's always somebody who's trying to, you know, trying to bring you back mm. to the what reality of mean? a black man <laughs> in Come America. On now. Come you on, now. so I, def- I definitely got to shoot salute to um, Killer for even just working it, and he did definitely mm-hmm. this thing on that album, man. Um, yeah, man. Album yeah. of the year, that's hard. Come on now, come on now. Congratulations, man. You know, even though, you know what I'm saying, like it really, what does a Grammy mean for real? What is it worth? What is it? I mean, you, you, you. know what I'm saying? What is it worth if you can't even, you can't even enjoy the night and celebrate without getting arrested? Mm. What What is the true value? Right. I'm asking a question, like for real. Like what the, how, why should we really, really aim for that if we go to jail in the same building, we get the Grammy? Right. For something that small also. I mean, but how valuable is it? Yeah. And plus, I'm going to tell you, and I don't already said it to Killer Mike, he's he's infringing on my intellectual property. He can win as many Grammys as he want, but I'm the only one go to jail at the war shows. I, don't know <laughs> I was what just about to ask that. I don't I know what he's thinking. I you was know, like, what is it with my, Atlanta? They in my video. You hear me? <laughs> I was about to say, what is it with they Atlanta artists winning you know? stuff and going to jail right before Man, performances? That is the most T.I. thing he could have possibly <laughs> did. Have you, have, have you still haven't got past that, have you? Nah, what you mean? I mean, I'm just saying, like, past it physically and, nah, and mentally, but I, oh, people mean, still... Do I pass that Walgreens? No, I do not. I do not. I do not <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's talk about Super Bowls right around the corner. Big game, big game. Who you going oh, for? Yeah. Predictions. Oh man, it's oh, hard to go against Mahomes. Uh, mm. Who, who oh, in the Super Bowl? Forty Nine ers Bonnie. I don't see San Francisco doing it, man. Forty Nine ers San Francisco. You mean Forty Nine ers San Francisco? We go to, Super Bowl. We go to, yeah, go to the <laughs> Super Bowl to party, man. True, I ain't never I been no good was, Super Bowl party. I thought you were supposed to go there and just let you know, just let loose. If Mahomes make it, if Mahomes win another one. Then they're going to be talking about Mahomes and Brady. So you going Mahomes? Yeah, for sure. Tip, you going Mahomes? Yeah, it's going to be hard to go against him. You know, Matt I think Bonner, their, organization, their organization. <laughs> <laughs> Who you going, Falcons? He's going Brady. He's going Brady. Look, Falcon, Hawks, Brady, baby. Okay, okay, okay. All right, man, look. So let me know when this album coming out. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, what's the name of the tape? You know what I'm saying? The Gangster Grills? Can we let that loose? Hey, man, we ain't going to let no cats out. No mm, bags. Come just, on, now. Just be ready. for it. When the dope is ready... It, it will be so. It will be so. Okay, yeah, man. All right, man. All right, man. So y'all gotta hear. Y'all gotta hear from my family. Look, I'm gonna have it first. We about to go crazy on that switch. Yeah. You know how to get it popping. If you ain't got, got that, to. go get that. DJs, yeah. go get that. DJs, be focused back on the music. Let's let's fall back in love with the music and fall back in love Come on, with really. our artists. At the end of the day, if we don't get our artists going and keep them moving, we gonna we gonna stop the money in the city. It's definitely a marriage. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a it's a cohesive relationship. It has to be some togetherness there. Because can't none of us do it by ourselves. You mm. know what I'm saying? Ain't no artists going in there and spending their own records. And ain't no DJs going in the studio recording the records to spin. So right. let's just work together and realize that we need each other. We're stronger together than we are separately. Come on. There it is. Words from T.I., y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, PSC is coming soon. New Gadget Grills coming soon. It's Howard 7-9. Come on.